All right, welcome to Talking Investing. I am Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I want to talk about CleanSpark, stock ticker CLSK. They are a Bitcoin mining company. We cover Bitcoin and the Bitcoin miners all the time on this channel. CleanSpark is having a very big update today. We're in the middle of the trading day. It's up almost 15% on the day. All the Bitcoin miners are having a good day. Bitcoin is having a good day. We broke over 30,000. But inside of all of this, CleanSpark made a major, major announcement today. So I want to go through what that announcement was, talk about what it means, and we'll see how this compares with what their investor package told us their plans for this year were going to be. And then I'm going to go through the charts and talk about some potential price targets. Okay, so I will put some chapters below if you want to jump around, but I recommend watching the whole thing. First, let's talk about the actual press release that they put out today. And again, this is a very big press release. Okay, April 11th, CleanSpark to double its Bitcoin mining capacity with $144.9 million expansion deal. The Antminer S19 XP units are the most powerful efficient Bitcoin mining machines available today. CleanSpark now has approximately 15.9 exahash of machines on hand or under contract for delivery this year, edging closer to its year-end guidance of 16 exahash. So let's talk more details. Let's get into this and see exactly what they did here because this was a major, major purchase. This is the biggest purchase order I've seen really since 2021. There was nothing in the whole year 2022 and so far 2023 that resembles an order on this magnitude. YouTube revenue is down drastically this year. So if you want to help support the channel, you can become a member of the channel by hitting the join button on the YouTube page. It's right next to the subscribe button. Membership is only $5 per month. We do have a bunch of videos that are members only content that are ready and waiting for new members. In addition to that, we do a live stream every Tuesday after the market closes that is for members only. On that live stream, members vote on a stock of their choosing for me to do a deep dive on. So that's what the member content is comprised of. In addition to that, we have a Discord for members only and I am active on that on a daily basis. So you know anybody who has any questions or thoughts for me, I'm on there every single day. So we appreciate the support. Thanks to all the existing members and we hope to see you there. CleanSpark, America's Bitcoin miner today announced a purchase of 45,000 brand new units of the Antminer S19 XP. Bitcoin mining machines for a total of $144.9 million. So all units are expected to be ready for delivery by the manufacturer before September end adding once deployed over 6.3 exahash per second of computing power to the company's current 6.7 exahash, a 95% increase. Now, there's some other machines we need to talk about in the middle because there was another big purchase that they made a couple of months ago, so we'll get to that next. But you're going to see they're at 6.7 exahash right now. They just bought... 45,000 machines, which is going to be another 6.3 exahash. And again, these are the high efficiency machines. And if you do the math, you'll see they pay just a little over $3,000 per machine. So that is a gigantic discount off of what was their retail price for most of the last year since they made this machine. I think at one point, these machines were selling between twelve dollars and $15,000 a piece. They paid just a little over $3,000 a piece for them. So they've been waiting for this opportunity. Okay, this is a quote from Zach Bradford, the Antminer S19 XP is the most power efficient Bitcoin mining machine available in the market today and a key component in our continuing work to build some of the most efficient Bitcoin mining facilities in the country. That was Zach Bradford, the CEO of CleanSpark. Quote, as Bitcoin's having draws closer, our focus on operational efficiency, our technical expertise, and our treasury management strategy will all play a crucial role in solidifying CleanSpark's position among the top Bitcoin mining companies in America. So they did come out over a year ago and say that they wanted to be a top five Bitcoin mining mining company. That seemed like an unrealistic goal at the time. Now it's almost an absolute certainty. Okay, according to the purchase agreement, the manufacturer will prepare 25,000 of the 45,000 units for delivery in August of 2023, while the remaining 20,000 units are expected to be ready for delivery in September of 2023. The company plans to deploy all of the acquired units at its Bitcoin mining facility in Sandersville, Georgia, which is currently undergoing a planned 150 megawatt expansion. So they do not need to go out in search of power. They already have the power agreement at Sanderville, so they're going to add 150 megawatts. So we're going to go to their plan because they talked about it in their investor package. And I'm going to compare what they're doing right now to what they said they were going to do. The vast majority of what CleanSpark does at this point is in the state of Georgia. Now, the one thing I will say is we've seen how these giant purchase orders go. This is a tall order. 
They have 45,000 machines that they want to deliver between August and September of 2023. So we'll have to see if those come in on time across all of the Bitcoin mining companies. It's extremely common for these deliveries to be delayed in some way. So we'll keep our eye on that, but they're still either way, they've given themselves some room between the final delivery that they're hoping will happen in September and having all the machines up and running by December 31st. This most recent minor purchase is in addition to the 20,000 machines purchased announced in February. Those machines are fully paid for and in the process of being delivered to the company's Washington facility. If you enjoy this content, please remember to subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we put out a new video. Just very quickly, on February 16th, so almost two months ago, they put out a press release. CleanSpark announces purchase of 20,000 new latest generation mining machines. Latest purchase expected to expand Bitcoin mining production capacity by 37%, adding 2.44 exahash per second once installed. So they have now given us an update in this most recent press release that these 20,000 machines are all 100% paid for and in the process of being delivered. So those 20,000 have to come in and then the 45,000 they just purchase ordered here, they just made us aware of today have to come in. That's an extra 65,000 machines. This gets them to 15.9 exahash. You know, I would call it their goal was 16 by the end of the year. They'll probably find a way to get that 0.1 exahash just for good measure but if they can stick on this plan then it looks like they're going to get where they're going and I just want to show you this is from their investor presentation so you'll see they have been saying all along right now this was in February their current exahash at that point was 6.6 .6 exahash I think it's now 6.7 but they're saying right in here projected hash rate 16 exahash so we now see they have the machines under purchase order to get to 15.9 exahash so this was their targeted goal. It looks like they're doing this. 200 megawatts of planned expansion. They just talked about 150 megawatts of that at Sandersville that's gonna house all of these machines. Later in the presentation, they have this slide. So again, 2023 CapEx. They have been telling everybody this all year. They were looking to spend between 140 and 200 million dollars on Bitcoin miners to get to 16 exahash. So we now know that they just did a 145 million dollar purchase plus the the 20,000 they previously purchased was 32 million dollars. So that's 177 million dollars. So they did come in inside of this range and well under the top of this range as far as their 2023 capex is expended. So the Bitcoin miner portion of this is complete. They're estimating $70 million to complete construction, so no update on how they're doing budget-wise from that point of view. But this was their plan. This was planned CapEx, so again, no surprises here at all. Miners needed 75,000 to 95,000. Well, since they got the bigger miners, the XPs, they actually only ended up having to order a total of 65,000 machines to get them to that 16 exahash. Okay, so before I go look at the charts, I just wanna put this in perspective a little bit. Today, right now, in the middle of the trading day, CleanSpark's up 14.5%. It's trading at about $3.10. So 14.5% today. This was a chart that I made over the weekend. This was through last Friday. So this is from January 1st through last Friday. So that is the entire year to date. You're gonna see so far, CleanSpark this year was in absolute last place out of all the Bitcoin mining companies from a stock performance standpoint. So their stock was only up 20% year to date since January 1st. They are up another 15% today. So they're up almost as much today in one day as they have been all year. So I have been kind of pounding the table that for me personally, I have been adding to this clean spark position. I think it's wildly undervalued today. All the Bitcoin miners, to be fair, had a very good day today or the vast majority of them. But you can see a 15% move to the upside was almost doubling what they've done so far this year. So I expect this trend to continue, but we shall see. This maybe takes them out of last place. We'll see how these companies did, but you'll see they still have a lot of ground to go. At this point, Bitcoin's up significantly this week, so Bitcoin's probably up 72 to 75%. So CleanSpark to only be up maybe 35% on the year. That's still only half of what Bitcoin has done on the year. So I think there is a lot of room left to run. With that said, let's take a look at the chart. Okay, from a big picture, I'm gonna start zoomed out here. Okay, so this is CleanSpark on the one week time frame. The first thing I'm gonna do is, this was CleanSpark back in December of 2020 and January and February of 2021. I'm just gonna put an X through all that price activity. You can see this got up over $40, up to $42. 
everything was overinflated. This was a giant bubble among small cap high growth stocks. So I am ignoring this price action. So if we ignore that and we go here, this was November of 2022. This is when Bitcoin hit its all time high at 69,000. So CleanSpark was at around $23.60. Again, that is way off of its high from that year of about $42. So I'm not gonna go from that higher inflated number. If we go from their November 2021 high to where they are today, including today's giant update, this stock is still down almost 87% off of its highs. And that's not even its all time highs. That's just its November 2021 highs. CleanSpark's down about 77%, basically year over year. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit to the one day time frame and we take a look at some more realistic price targets. So I don't even wanna look at any of those numbers that we just looked looked at. There's a blue line at $3.84. CleanSpark was trading there in February of 2023. So just a month and a half ago or two months ago. At that time, Bitcoin was at $25,000. Right now, Bitcoin's at $30,000. So even after the big jump up today, they would still have to increase another 24% just to get back to where they were this year, earlier this year, like a month and a half ago. So to me, that's an overdue price target. It makes no sense to me that CleanSpark would be worth less today than it was two months ago with CleanSpark operating operationally having excellent updates since then and Bitcoin $5,000 higher than it was at that time. So the other spot I wanna look at is August of 2022. That is the last time that Bitcoin was at $25,000. That would represent a 121% increase in the price of this stock. So I do think this is a realistic price target. Yes, there has been some dilution, but the growth has been massive. And it's my personal opinion that their dilution is highly accretive. We see they're gonna get from six exahash potentially to 16 exahash. So that will be a big part of the price action on this stock. Can they execute this plan over the course of the rest of the year? Can they continue to have good monthly operational updates over the rest of the year? If they do those two things, I think this is a very, very modest price target in my personal opinion. So that's 121% up. That's more than a double. I think it could run more than that this year if the circumstances work out. As always, just to look at the downside, if they revisit their lows just from December of 2022, so about three and a half months ago, that would be about a 40 or 44% decrease from where they are right now. So as always, it's important to look at the risk and the reward on these stocks. I like this update. I think this was a phenomenal update. Nobody else is doing this right now. Opinions are all over the place. There are a lot of people that are very passionate about this stock on both the good side and the bad side. So please do your own due diligence. It is also an extremely volatile stock like all the rest of the Bitcoin miners. If you made it this far, remember to subscribe to the channel, smash the like button and hit the notification bell. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.